I grew up in um, Burma. It's called Myanmar now, but I still call it Burma. And I was there till 88, and we went back to Korea after that. There were a lot of corporate and military first, second world country folks there, and my family was there. Um, and I went to an American school, and so there were a lot of American pop cultural imagery that in a way made no sense in the context of Burma at the time. It was so poor, it still is, but it was just excruciatingly poor. And, and it was really interesting and confusing and the amount of fantasy that these images can create was so visceral. I'm trying to create a direct physical link to the image and its source or subject. And I'm interested when the literal link then transforms itself to alter the image and make it new again for me. The way I approach the disparity between, say, the physical subject and its representation in the form of an image we, our, our brains and bodies are so, it's so natural for it to transition it from one to the next. And in a way, I'm interested in making that transition not so smooth by interrupting it in a way. And it's done, it, it ends up being comical because it's one, really literal, and um, two, the form ends up being cartoonish or odd or something happens to it physically because the way we process the image has been interrupted. For the, for the parrot and the duck pieces, once I make a cast of it with silicone, it's a very stretchy material and then I can put those pieces together almost like a quilt and then I re-stretch it back onto the frame which then distorts the image and it distorts all the details that help us understand that this is an impression of that, that object. And that then creates a distorted image, which if it's a drawing or you can Photoshop something like that, but I do it in analog. The part about digital technology that intrigues me is it further eliminates the physical, the connection to the physical. And the, the amount of distortion or um, I wouldn't even say, not even distortion, it's the naturalness of the image. It, you can make it even more natural. Like, it, it feels exceptionally seamless. And that is what fascinates me about digital photography, but it's also what really bothers me. So for example, this piece I'm working on, I, it's, I'm, I'm calling it, just the working title is my virtuoso piece, but, it's um, very large hands playing the piano, and I've uh, made casts of the hands and just hobbled it together onto a panel. And the scale is enormous. That's not a normal person's hand. And that kind of scale shift to make it physical um, is different than when you see it in an image. When you can actually see the object and see your body in relation to it, as opposed to, oh, it's a big poster, that's why the hands are, or it's a big rectangle, that's why the hands are bigger. Scale is something I'm really interested in. I mean, in terms, not, because that's a distortion that is really sneaky. The most obvious example is the way, say, the figure in, say, Cosmo or whatever, it's manipulated. And these things, as we perceive it, it, it it, they all become naturalized, and even though we all know it's photoshopped, we are actually changing our expectations and behaviors according to it. I'm also interested in um, images in pop culture, so especially images that allude to some kind of desire or try to elicit desire. So I, I either generate some, I generate some of these images by drawing um, these things repetitively and see how they transform. Uh, and when I draw, I don't, I don't think of style. I don't think of, like, I just do 
what feels right because I'm also now inserting my own desires into these images. And that's really important to me is to always work with what I know. I, I pull from the magazines I read or my husband reads, stuff that's around. Um, and, um, you know, the references I make are always to art that I love or, you know, parts of culture that I love or I'm interested in. There's the image, which is very frontal and planar, but my hope is that it then unfolds into a narrative of making and producing the image. And to reveal the production aspect to me is a really powerful, powerful thing that art can do.